Uh, we can see, I, I guess, uh, purse type compatibility. Oh, now you sound like one of them. No, no, no. It's a personality compatibility it's like, chart. Oh, oh, what's your star sign? We need to know if we if we if we can be friends. Now, now it's like what? I need to know your personality type to know if we can be friends. What the hell is this? Well, so well, no. It, it it's a very because somebody you know. We'll take a look here. ENTJ. All right. So. What did I say you were? Oh my gosh. I can't. Uh, INFJ. You said let's take INFJ. A, let's yeah. take a look Advocate. here. INF. <laughs> oh. Fair. We get the lowest rating. <laughs> oh, the, the lowest mutual mutual ability or whatever. We have the lowest rating. Nice, nice. See, I told you it's completely meaningless. Well, I the, like you said though. Nothing. Had it not been for this YouTube thing, we wouldn't talk to each other that much. We wouldn't hang out. Yeah, yeah, we were, t we were talking about that last week. Yeah, INFP. Who the heck? Do I know anybody that's an INFP? Maybe this is why my life sucks. I haven't actually found somebody yeah. uh, that I act I properly get along with. INFP? What is INFP? That is the personality type that I get along with the most. But like, what is it? Uh, hold on. Or an ENFP. Do I know any ENFPs? Do, 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 do. No. I don't know anybody with us. What is an ENFP? It's a extroverted, intuitive, feeling, perceiving? A campaigner. Someone with extroverted, intuitive, feeling, and prospecting personality trait. Oh. I also get they embrace big ideas that reflect a sense of hope and goodwill. I I also oh, this does not really sound like me. I also get along with house. <laughs> Outgoing, open-hearted, open-minded. Oh, upbeat approach. Stand out in any crowd. Uh, I more or less get hidden in any crowd. How how am I supposed to get along with these people? But even though they can be the life of the party, campaigners don't just care about having a good time. Their personality times run deep, as does their longing for meaningful emotional connections with other people. How am Friendly, I supposed outgoing, to be compatible with this person? They have rich, vibrant inner lives. Ah, uh, yeah, no. How, how Happy dose of imagination, creativity, and curiosity. I mean, uh, I can see like certain aspects. Like they can't help but ponder the deep meaning and significance of life. I suppose maybe, even when they should be paying attention to something else. Ah, so easily distractible. That would be me. <laughs> They, they they believe that everything and everyone is connected, and what they live for, the glimmers of insight that they can gain into these connections. This is mm -hmm. interesting. So, you know, I'm supposed to get along with INFPs and ENFPs, but they do not they struggle with self-discipline, consistency. Losing steam on projects that once meant so much to them. How, how am I supposed to get along with these people? I mean, yes, I can yeah, understand. Yeah. So your, per so your perfect person is someone that struggles with self-discipline. They can't see stuff to the end. Uh, and they, 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 they once were this, the last glimmer of hope, and now they don't have any hope for their own life. Oh, maybe. 
No <laughs> they don't have wonder. Any hope for their life. No, no they wonder. Have no hope for their own life. No wonder I was friends with the water bottle for so long. They seek out life's joys and pleasure. Wait. They're proof that seeking out life's joys and pleasures isn't the same as being shallow. People with this personality type can be transformed from an impassionate idealist to carefree figures on the dance floor. Dance floor? Dance floor? I'm guessing that's a figure of speech. Must be. I don't dance. Uh, neither do I. What, they want what's... to connect emotionally with others. Few things matter more to these people, to these personality types, than having genuine, heartfelt conversations with the people they cherish. So, what's interesting about this? I mean, there's there's hit and miss aspects of this that I want. Oh, okay. Miss. So, so not, okay. Not Here's what's interesting about this. Yeah, I would get along with them. But they would not get along with me. What? That doesn't mean... What? Polarizing. I love it. What? That's crazy. So... Polarizing. I think that a personality types that are mutually com mutually compatible. Mutually compatible. Meaning both parties benefit. Well, this is the like only one really I can see there... Enjoys the others, but the other does not enjoy them. Well, the only one I can see there... Is uh, they read far too much into people's actions and behaviors who? instead of simply asking for an explanation, well, they end up getting puzzled over someone else's desires or intentions. I could definitely see how I would like these types of people. Social stress keeps them awake at night. No, oh, I th see that doesn't keep me awake. See, and that's what see, it's what they stress about, which is why they wouldn't like me. Because I don't stress about those things. Exactly. Yeah, However, yeah. the parts that they're broken, you know, their broken personality parts are the parts that my personality part likes to build. Oh. So, like, the no self-discipline, my personality type has uh, self-discipline. Mm -hmm. So, as where they're completely depressed and broken, I'd be like, hey, let's, let's pick things up. Let's improve things. Let's make life better. Now, I do have a personality type that gets along with me, and I get along with them. Mm -hmm. See, the part about losing steam. See, I'm more or less the type that I have to see something to the end once I start it, but the problem is getting started. I procrastinate getting started because I know how much work it'll take, and I know I'm the type that once I start, I have to finish it, you know? And so it's like, I don't want to start it because I know I can't finish it. And so it's the trouble getting started. But once I get started, I'm seeing it to the end. End and through. Yeah. I get that. Oh, okay. So, your personality type interesting so my personality type doesn't like you <laughs> oh <laughs> but your personality type uh interestingly enough you're most compat your only people that you're most compatible with are people like me <laughs> I, I, I love that <laughs> my only friends are people like you but the people like you don't like me <laughs> yes perfect oh what you, you you do like ENFP. The only people that I enjoy being around being around are your personality type. But your personality type does not like me. You, yes. You do like yes. ENFPs, and ENFPs do like you. Oh, okay. So you guys oh, that's can the get along. That's the campaigner. That's what I just read. Yeah. You guys would get along. Interesting. You, you guys would mutually get along. And there's certain aspects I don't I don't appreciate though. Yeah, you fill each other's holes. That's why you get along. What? I I thought it'd, I thought it'd be more like. This is like the, yeah. What I lack, they they have, 
But it seems to me like I should be more or less in sync. Peaks with peaks, troughs with troughs. The things I am good at are the things they're good at. And so we have something in common. This is like the complete opposite. Which what I don't have, they have. And so it fills my gaps. Which is but interesting. It seems to me that would be ir- that would be irritating because it's just like, why do you care so much about that? I don't give a shit about that. Why do you care so much? And it feels like... It would just be like, whatever, you do your own thing, and we won't get along. Like, it'd be like, they, they're off in their own little world, but we won't really get along. I would need someone that, you know, aligns with me, and, you know, what I my strengths are their strengths, and so we have something to converse about. And the things that I lack in, I don't give a shit about. And so I don't care about those things. I don't care if there's holes in those parts of my life, because, like I said, I don't care. And so that personality type that also doesn't care would be something that we have in common. Relatable. I don't I, I question what what they mean by compatibility. I don't know. However, I will say that uh the, what completes me interestingly mm-hmm. enough is me. <laughs> 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 yes yes you need someone like you almost i will say that that so personality types they so it seems only... to be like the perfect personality types in my opinion would be something that matches like three letters They're... with the exception of the first because the first one is either introvert or extrovert i think they should either be whatever you are so introvert or extrovert and the other three, and then two other letters need to match as well. So, that would be my that would be my opinion. According to so this three of the chart, four letters need to match, and include and one of those three letters needs to be the introvert or extrovert. So, according to this chart, no. I know that's that's what they're saying. But, so that's on this, saying. so on this chart is it, it with it, I think it probably depends on the personality type though. Some extrovert personality types versus their introvert personality type, like those last three letters, could be it polar just opposites. Me. It just confuses me, though. Like, some, like, obviously it's on a grid. It's on a spectrum. Right. So someone's an extrovert. You know, they're not completely all the way at the far end extrovert. You know, they have some introverted qualities in them, which is why they get along with the introverts. Right. So, but they're not a complete extrovert. So the thing, so the thing with this mm-hmm. chart is, you don't, you're only so like you're, you only get a great compare uh, compatibility instead of a very high with your exact uh, personality type. Mm-hmm. For the most part, from what it seems, however, uh. I guess, see, the thing is, so for my personality type, mm-hmm. we get along great with INF, uh, uh, INTJs, and INTJs get along great with us, which makes perfect sense. I could totally get along with an INTJ. Absolutely. Yeah. We would, honest to God, we would get lost in each other's thoughts and just yeah. prospects. Yeah. We each take each other for a ride. Oh, yeah. my God. Mentally. Mentally, we would wrestle the yes, it would be we would mentally wear each other out. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what who, yeah, because uh, Outback is an INTJ now. Granted, he when he takes the personality test, he does he has he has a hard time clearing his mind about what the end result's going to be, and so he mm. knows how to cherry pick it. Mm. And so it's hard for him to actually get a proper uh, response, which probably fits the INTJ, to be honest. The INTJ, they're, they're that smart of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're are, they are the smartest personality type. The what one? INTJs typically, on uh, when it comes to uh, IQs, they are the smartest personality type. 
on mm. average, the high people with the highest IQs are more likely to have that personality type than other personality types. It's the architect. Mm -hmm. Now, my personality type would be second. However, mm. extroverted people are so much dumber than I think. Uh, Introverts. No, 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 not introverts. It's uh, because it's what? so it goes INTJ and then some other personality type and then ENTJs. It's because the difference in letter swapping, mm -hmm. I, I think it's S. I think the difference, the difference in which you swap between an S and an N is less than the difference between E and I. Where did you read this up? Uh, it's, it's been years. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, oh, INTJ, INTP, ENFJ, ESTJ. What was I again? Noise. It's IQ. Yes. This doesn't help me... Uh, this is genius. We don't want this. Uh, according to this, I'm six. Six out of sixteen. About average. Let me. About average. Personality types. I'm trying to find them. Uh, there's these these new ones though. They do not match. They're staying a little bit differently. These are geniuses. So if we're looking at geniuses here. So the most ge Hold on, these these numbers also don't make any sense. What ENFP? What how would an ENFP have the highest personality type percent? See, that's the issue. These, I don't think these are accounting for actual, uh, the percentages in the population, though. See, that's my issue. Mm -hmm. Because you can say, oh, yeah, INTPs or whatever have the most uh, geniuses or whatever. However, that doesn't mean that they are, that doesn't mean that that means that they're, well, that... to me, what, uh, the way we define intelligence today, you know, based off IQ, is wrong. I, no, that's not, well, that's not where I'm going. The way we define it today would be those that are deep thinkers. Ones that are good at abstract thinking because that's what the IQ tests. Right. When you take an IQ test, it tests abstract thinking problem and problem solving skills. Okay. So which yeah. Which align with those personality types. So those personality types would naturally have high IQs on average. Because of how we define IQ. Because, no, because of how the IQ test is structured. So, according to this site, so INTPs any, any, are number one. So, to me, it'd be, uh, you know, I don't, I can't, I'd have to read more into it to say which one could be higher than the rest. 
but to me, any of them that have to do that in some way, shape, or form are good abstract uh, thinkers, uh, love puzzles and problem solving. Those personality types would score relatively high or than average on IQ tests. See, in this, my opinion, that's that's what it would see, seem to suggest. This this site doesn't make any sense because they've got. So you see, there's a pattern here. Uh, okay, I N T I I N T I N T are at the top. I N T yes. Okay. Okay. So the last four can change. So no, so the first two it's I N T P it's I N T and I N T. So you have e INTPs are number one, mm -hmm. INTJs are number two, and then it's ISTJ, which breaks their model. How is an ISTJ high? Uh, how is that third? That doesn't make or, or, any sense. Yeah, it would or, or, ideally. What were the first two? Huh? I N. What were the first two? I S so the first two were I N T P and I N T J. Yeah, so they have that T the T is thinking, right? Yes. Yeah. Now, why would an ISTJ be the next one? I S Ideally it would be an ISTP. Right? Because if P's are at the top in the first half, which which makes me think... ISTJ is a logistician. Right. Uh, Those... Introverted, observant, thinking... Well, they still have a T in there. Well, no, 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 I know. But... But why is the J? Why is it an ISTP? Why is it an ISTJ? It is, so I would expect, what, IST... According to how their data starts, here's how I would expect it to go. Mm -hmm. INTP, INTJ, ISTP, and then I don't know what the fourth one would be. The fourth one should be ISTJ, or it could be ENTJ. Uh, they still so, have me. So I ISTP, ISTJ. ISTP would IS... make more sense, in my pers personally, it would make more ISTJ. sense to me for that to be third, and then me and ISTJ battling out for fourth. Mm, However, I, an ISTP doesn't even freaking an ISTP. They're ninth. An ESTP comes ahead of. I want to see these in a table. No, I think I'm going to make a table. This thing sucks. This is not. They, they don't have these. Well, they have like words, and so it's too hard to see in a table. Let's scratch piece of paper. <laughs> yep. This is by country. I don't care. Okay. Yeah. This one. Uh huh. This what? Why did this even person? Why did this even show up? Okay. What so should be smart? See, I keep seeing these. This chart. Where it has INTP, INTJ, INFP, which, how did a feeler end up at top? I'll never know. Wait, so it's got to be four, it's got to be a four by four because there's 16. How did you, INTJ, no. ENTP, what? All of these are, they all conflict. I mean, some of these places present the same ones, but then others just, they're completely just.
ISTP, ISFP. Oh, these aren't even, you're not even ranking these logical, naturalist, intelligent. Okay, they're the nine types of intelligence. Uh, uh, IQ, how did I, what did, I did this years ago, and I don't remember what I did. And Oh my god, I don't even know if this, this podcast is even entertaining anymore. Uh, uh, just do smartest personality type. Uh, highest IQ. Here we go. Okay. Let's take a look here. What do we got? Did you even tell... You didn't actually, this, what is the point of this? Oh, here we go. Now here's the, oh, it didn't load in. That's why. All right. What? How does this, what? Okay. So according to this one, it's INTJs. Perfect. Then ENTPs. In what world? Then INTPs, okay. Then INFPs, in what universe? Then INFJs, then ENTJs. In what universe? What? These don't make... In what universe... Uh, these in what universe do these does this data make sense? Because you should be able to break it down. Mm-hmm. This Reddit, yes, this is the this is the one. This is the thing I'm looking for. What? It was. It, what are you looking for? It was the. I, is hmm? this graph? Uh, but this is. Oh, can you send it to me? I it's see. not quite what I'm looking for. Oh. It still. Still doesn't help. Huh. Where do I even fall on this? Oh, there's an ENTJ. Weird. So, IQ. We don't rank highest IQ, but we rank higher in test scores. Actually, we're pretty much almost dead on plus percentiles on those. Yeah, grades, SAT scores. Yeah, pretty much dead on in the center. But which makes sense. These make these this data makes sense. And again, putting INTJs at the highest on all of these makes makes absolutely a hundred percent sense these people are freaking smart that's all they do is think INT, INTJ yes INTJs I, it makes perfect sense the way they're ranked anyways I should probably just end this because I don't they're not <laughs> no one's <laughs> I don't know where this went we went off the rails we ended up talking about personality types on how I'm gonna divide this up into parts but anyways uh, I don't know. This is a mess. I would like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. New podcast every other every Friday, 11 a, uh, 12 p.m. Central Time. And good night.